So it's almost one o'clock and I am pretty hungry. Now lunch and dinner is included as part of the quarantine measures but just not for the first day uh, because we're checking on this day so we have to deal with our own lunch. Now we can't use the restaurants as part of our quarantine process but we are allowed to use the Lawson convenience store they have on the hotel and that's pretty much our only option. Full array of drinks. Always impressed by just the sheer variety of drinks they have. You got your coffee, milk, soft drinks of course, green tea, beer, random fruit stuff, alcohol. Lots of alcohol if you wanna, you know, help make time go faster. Here you have a selection of instant noodles. I will probably get one of these for lunch. These ones are on sale. Oh, this one has bean sprouts in it, so I'm out. I was able to find another one of these. The uh, I think that's you have to match up the kanji. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think. Oh yes, the 1.5 times. That's it. On sale, so I'll get it. Now I'm gonna try to keep my budget for this lunch under a thousand yen. Oh my god, look at the size of this instant noodle here. Super, super, super big. Giga Max, if you can eat it. Holy crap, 1950 calories. So, if you want to eat your whole day's worth of calorie intake in one meal, this is the one to get. Oh, Coke is on sale. Here you have a selection of ready to eat hot food. If you want to microwave it up, you got yakisoba, that looks like pasta, lasagna. Yeah, you got different kinds of pasta here. I'm gonna go for something more Japanese, I reckon. What are these called again? Onigiri, that's right. Rice balls. This one has Wagyu in it. It's pretty expensive, 250 yen. Here you got some of the cheaper varieties, they're just over 100 yen each, and a lot of different flavors. Here you got kelp, uh, grilled salmon flakes, and tuna mayonnaise. And down here you got a variety of bento boxes that you can heat up in the microwave. So, for example, got some fried chicken here. What's this? This is grilled chicken, and down here you have ginger pork. I reckon instead of the hot food, I'm just gonna get some bread. They have a huge selection of bread here. Japanese people love their flavored bread. Uh, which one do I want? Ooh, this one looks kind of nice. There's some kind of croquette in there. Let's get that. Curry pan? Beef curry pan. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, I think that's enough for one meal. Oh, I take that back. Look at this. They've got a hot food selection here. They've got chicken skewers, fried chicken pieces. Oh, that looks good. And you got a spicy version too. That looks even better. And you got chicken nuggets. Well, their version of chicken nuggets, karage. The karage. Can I get a yakitori? Yakitori. Yeah. I'm really hoping this still comes under a thousand yen, maybe. Oh, damn. I think I'm gonna go over a thousand yen. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Okay, I'm 11 yen over. I'm gonna allow that. I'm actually very excited. This is like my first proper Japanese meal uh, in Japan. Well, depends whether you want to count convenience store food as an actual meal, but I, I have no other choice. So, got the curry pan, the beef curry pan. This looks like a prawn croquette with mayonnaise got some teriyaki chicken skewers that they microwave for me and some karage chicken nuggets and i got the instant noodle here now i don't even know what flavor it is but yeah i don't know what flavor that is but i got the uh the kettle boiling the water behind me it should be ready in a few minutes i'm going to dig in with the hot stuff first because that's going to get cold otherwise start with this chunky teriyaki chicken skewer Mm, okay. It's not as hot as I would like it, but you can definitely taste the tender chicken thigh and the teriyaki sauce is pretty decent. And then you got these chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, it's good. But you can see there's a lot of actual chicken, I'm guessing chicken breast in there. It's not like the chicken nuggets you get at in Australia where, you know, it's almost like it's not real chicken, if you know what I mean. This actually tastes like real chicken. The other thing it's kind of lacking is a bit more flavor in the batter or if they supplied some kind of sauce, I think that'll make it a lot better, but still very good. All right, next up is this thing. I don't actually know what it is. There's a katakana up here. I think it says, oh God, I haven't read katakana in a while. Uh, ebi, ebi is prawn. So that's the that's prawn croquette. That, yeah, that's the prawn croquette. My Japanese will uh, get better. Mmm, good ratio of like 
the bread to like the more meaty part. I mean, obviously croquette is better when it's hot, but... And then we got this thing. So I know the bottom part, the katakana says uh, beef curry pan. Mm. The curry beef is great. Again, infinitely better if it's hot. Yeah, I like the crunchy bits outside. Well, sort of crunchy. To show you guys the filling on the inside. Decent amount of filling there. You can definitely taste the curry beef. We'll definitely consider getting this again. So the noodles are ready. Um, I still cannot tell what flavor it is, but these things look almost like kimchi. Yeah, it is a little bit spicy. It does taste like kimchi. I think it's kimchi flavored soup actually. Yeah, I can taste kimchi in there. It's not bad. I was just hoping to get a Japanese flavored one since, you know, I am in Japan after all. Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, I thought they were serving dinner, we just to buy our own lunch, but turns out they're also not serving dinner tonight, so I had to go back to the convenience store. This is my second haul. Got some of the same stuff, got the fried chicken because it tastes really good, but also got the spicy version so I can compare the two. This here is a very unique Japanese invention. Japanese people love bread, Japanese people love noodles, and you know, some, some guy came along and thought combined both. So this is a yakisoba pan. Yakisoba is like the stir fried noodles. And pan is bread, so it's literally stir-fried noodles, you know, shoved inside the bread. Interesting concept. Got some yakitori, different kinds of yakitori this time. And lastly, a bag of good old potato chips. Now, I, for the life of me, could not figure out what flavor this is. Consomme? Consomme double punch. So something, the flavor is double the flavor, but I don't know what the flavor is. Con so I, I think I'm reading it correctly. I'm really curious to see what flavored chips this is, so I'm gonna try that first. Tastes kind of like barbecue. No, it's not quite barbecue. You can see there's a lot of noodles stuffed in there. Mm. Mm. Mm, I like it. The noodles are nice and soft. It's really easy to chew in your mouth. I thought that would be the hard part, trying to like bite off the noodles. But that was really easy. Um, I like the sauce they put on the yaki, um, yakisoba. It's like this barbecue kind of tare kind of flavor. Really good. A little bit sweet as well. And you can see there's, they don't, they don't skimp out the noodles. There's a lot of noodles in there. So now the hot fried chicken. I wonder how spicy it is. It's not spicy at all. There's a little bit of a kick in there, but I will not really count this as spicy. Mild at best. And lastly, this big fat chicken or yakitori you can see there's a little bit of a skin left on it the one i had earlier today which is all meat mmm uh, it's really good very tender good amount of flavor but yeah the chicken quality is pretty top notch <laughs> whole day of eating convenience food today i love convenience food but can't eat this all the time so hopefully tomorrow i can show you guys the actual uh, hotel bentos that they'll be providing us so so yeah Something to look forward to.